Welcome in, everyone, to the Challenge After Show. Tonight, Pamela and I are talking about the challenge, Battle of the Era, Season 40, Episode 6, My Real Friends Era. Oh. Yeah, that's what I said. I said, oh, what's huh. the... Okay, so, hmm. hmm. I didn't really think it was that much of a friendly episode where there's like a best friend and there was someone that sabotaged. This is my real friend. This is my fake friend. I didn't... Yeah, yeah I, I didn't catch the title, and that. Okay, what so... I would, to my takeaway from that would be the closest it came to my real friends is sort of bananas themed with by like, saying like Michelle with telling we'll get into that, and then also with the Josh thing. Like, um, I, I don't was know. thinking, Certain I was that. thinking maybe maybe John A. She doesn't feel like she has any friends. She's kind of on her own team, but not. I don't. I don't know. I. Someone yeah, will tell us. Strange... Someone yeah, will we'll have us. to learn. Someone will yeah. tell us in the comments. Great. Well... <laughs> oh, what were your? I am curious because I have some opinions about this. What What was your overall thoughts for this particular episode? Um, I liked it. Mm -hmm. I. Well, as we discussed at the end of last week, like, is it going to be a, a major leg break and will an ambulance come? And of course, it was nothing. It was like, ow, I broke my leg. I've got the some thoughts. Yeah, I've got <laughs> some thoughts. I've got some thoughts on that as well. And we'll get to that. Um, like overall for me, like it, I liked it, but like I didn't love it. Like I've liked the other episodes. It was a, it was a solid episode, but it wasn't like solid like the other ones. Like this was like a read. Okay. It, yeah, it felt happened. like filler. It, it felt like felt like it was fine, but nothing major really happened. Yeah, like, and maybe my... because we had such those big conspiracies the last two episodes, and this one was pretty cut and dry with who won the elimination. Maybe that's why. I just overall, I just thought they kind of. I don't know. I was so, like at the beginning of the episode, you have bananas talking about how there's all these different couples in the house, and then th none of the couples are mentioned except for the one that he's calling out, and we'll get to him calling out. You know, Devin technically. Well, he didn't. He never called out Devin. He told Michelle, and then Michelle told Devin. It's a whole thing. But we'll get into that too. I don't know. I just overall, and also, I only wrote one page of notes. And usually, I write about two pages of notes. So I'm like, does that have anything to do with nothing really happened? Um, I don't know. So, but we'll oh, as we yuck. break this down right <laughs> now, maybe we'll come across some more things that are gonna change our mind about it. Um, so yeah, that's where we'll leave that. One thing that I am have strong feelings about is is not something that happened, but rather something that didn't happen. I can't believe how sort of when we open the episode, we get a, a little laurel, back, you know, what's going on. And we've seen, I'm sure everybody's looked at a lot of uh, responses and laurel story and this and that on social media and what really happened. And it's actually even worse than what we saw. And then we see Laurel still being a jerk. Mm -hmm. and that whole like oh my aunt, mom little sister analogy yeah. and walking by after her hair is clearly dyed because i was like okay well maybe they're showing things out of context but it was definitely post dyeing the hair okay. going oh like a little sister with the red hair or something and i do want to defend kylan because at some point i was looking through twitter and I was like, that's a weird choice for Kylan to be like defending Laurel, as they showed again, him saying it's hard to defend Kara when she started this and so on and so forth. And Kylan took to Twitter and said that was said way before this fight. Mm. Like that was an argument that was happening in the kitchen and my and like I left the room and had no idea about this secondary thing that happened where Laurel went way too far okay it's like and they used that yeah. you know in response to that i mean i <laughs> asked that question to pamela last week i said who is who the hell can be on laurel's side and then we brought up well kyland was but if that's the truth what you're seeing from social media then really uh, he was like the only one i was like man that's weird that kyland would be on her side for this uh but yeah they, of course we have to realize that they definitely show things out of order in, in, in theory out of context if he was commenting on something completely different that is a super out of context Thing. And, and, you know, I'm really happy, though, that there is social media now for the one reason of challengers are starting to speak out and they're not afraid like bananas. He's speaking out hardcore about stuff on his on his show that he does. He him and Emily talking um, the other week about the controversy with the whole Tina thing. So like 
people are, I mean, obviously Jordan and Theo, like people are coming out. Like I always thought, Oh, they're going to be too afraid. They, they, you know, they want to, they want to get asked to be back on the show, but there are people that are speaking out and said, look, if you want to cast me again, you can, but I'm not going to keep my mouth shut about the, the garbage stuff that's happening on this production. So yeah. there you go. Well, conspiracy, Dan, you'll really appreciate this then, because I think now we know so much is not shown on the show and they have to save their asses and blah, 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 and legal and this, that, and the other thing. I feel like it's moderately encouraged for them to be, I wouldn't say messy in real life or on social media, but stirring the pot and furthering the discussion. Because it's like, where we can't take accountability for what someone says in their own platform we can't like mtv can't get in trouble for x y and z mm. that they're saying out of school uh so i think to some extent when it's not very harmful as long as they're not like bashing production and calling them out they probably like it, it, it it's publicity for sure and these people uh these these you know challengers have you know I don't, I, uh, tens of thousands of followers. I don't want to say hundreds of thousands of followers, which some of them I'm sure do, but still, I mean, having, you know, 41.5 thousand followers, I mean, that's whatever it is, you know, I'm just making up a random number there, but like 41 point, that's a very specific number. Hold on, let me look up. I want to, for instance, like, you know, Jordan, Jordan, for instance, just because he's the one that has been speaking out, you know, for production. I am curious what he has now. Even you see Norris and Horacio, who I really do think, uh, Norris, again, a pioneer, a groundbreaker. I feel like Norris really started this trend, and it was almost scary yeah, she last has been, yeah. year if she wouldn't get asked back, but she clearly did. So it's like, all right, they're not going to not ask someone back because they're speaking out against whatever. Right. I just someone on this season would be like, Michelle, how's your best friend Jay? Like, remember Jay, your best friend from last season? Like, how how's, how's that friendship? Are you still friends? It's just I love these people being best friends on, and right. you know, acting like that's such a serious. Like, I could never upset our best friendship. It's like, are you best friends? We'll get we'll get to Jay. Hey, hey, we'll okay. get to Josh in a second here, Pamela. I know you want. To... Yeah. Josh and is Michelle. like, why does Josh think he can save everybody? I can't stay. Michelle used to do that too in other seasons. You can't save everybody, okay? I, I can't stand Josh. But, uh, by the way, Jordan has 421,000 followers. So yeah. much higher than what I wrote well, down. Just Jordan's said out loud. girlfriend, who is like a, we'll call her moderately successful real singer, mm. like is a country singer or something. I think Jordan reposted because I don't I don't even know her name. But she said something like, you know, when you're trying to have a career and now you're just known because like you're dating a reality star. Crazy, right? Be, well, I mean, yeah. honestly, like I, to me, Jordan, I mean, I'm in the challenge game here. So to me, I have no idea who that woman is. I'm not really big up on music either, but I would I'd be interested to know if we if we showed their pictures to random people on the street, who would be able to point out her and who would be able to point out Jordan. I do feel like Jordan would get picked out more often than her for sure. Yeah, I feel like undoubtedly we'll look at her if we're going to gauge it by that. Look at her social media. Well, I don't. Oh yeah, I should just just go to he, his and find. Did out he tag her because we they went see, to a yeah, wedding? Her, her name they is went, something. Oh. Well, they went to a wedding oh. recently and it looked like that wedding was in Malibu. And I recognized the venue because I used to do so many photography gigs. Um, oh, look, here's Jordan at so he's at SoFi Stadium on the September 9th with bananas and, Jordan. and okay, someone else see. here. Yeah, um, he was golfing with her. Yeah, this okay. is her. Her name is Lo Local Diner Girl. Is that her name? That's her like social media name i don't no, think she's got, she's got 24 like, let's, call her, 20... let's call her local diner girl local diner girl only has 24.4 <laughs> she had 24 yeah, 000. I think jordan's double as famous i think clearly well he's also got 20 years of service under his belt as a, yeah. in, as a reality star and she can't have had that long of doing what she does yeah she posted and i think he did too yeah they both did um i they're definitely in malibu um, at the at a wedding here on August thirty first, and I swear I've been I've, I've worked this venue before for, for with photography. It's an interesting. I was like, man, imagine if I was there that night, that'd have been insane. Okay, anyways, because it looked like they were at a wedding, and I do a lot of weddings. Um, okay, let's move this thing along. We talked about um, you know Laurel's still upset, and she's you know bitching and moaning, and the uh, we should we should wait till later, but 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 we do get a tease, Pamela, of bananas 
okay. saying that he feels that Devin is using Michelle. So I do want, we'll tease that there. He does talk about that before the uh, daily challenge. Okay. Very briefly. Right. We'll get, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Uh, I, let's talk about the daily challenge. Cloud catcher. And we got to talk about Laurel. She makes this big opening speech, you know, apologizing to her team for last week. But the only reason she's making this goddamn speech, Pamela, is because she's trying to save her ass because she's the freaking target. Oh, you know, we're going to, we got to work. I'm so sorry. You know, I'm sorry about what happened last week. We got to work together this week. We're going to make this happen. Right, everybody? Right, everybody? And if I'm Cara Marie, Maria, I'm like, screw <laughs> this. Screw oh, you. Yes. Now, this one's a little harder to manipulate because it's not like if she sits down the whole team doesn't have like finish the race and if she sits down they can't they automatically are disqualified you know it you know she could just pop every one of her balloons and they could still do okay i guess and who would even know if she did her on purpose or not but it, i like car and the fact that she's like no i'm gonna try no matter what it's a team at this point but you know what screw laurel laurel's never Laurel is never going to stand up for you, Kara. Like she's not going to like. If you're up for Target next week, she's probably going to throw the challenge. She's not even going to give a crap about it. So screw Laurel. I want her to go home. And you know what? And, and shame on Josh. And we'll get into that later. But shame on Josh for not making a move there. I don't care. Other people on social media were saying, "Oh no, it's good because you know most likely they would have beat." Um, and they did. I mean, in theory, they, I think I think Laurel and 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 would have. Brad is no. Brad's not that great anymore. Let's be honest. And and uh, who would have been John A? Like John A is not. Be Wait, no. Who would it have been? No, she would have had to go against Rachel. Rachel. No, see that one. I think she could have lost. I mean, so whatever. Well, but they could have lost to Rachel. Yeah. She could have hundred percent um, lost to Rachel. Yeah. Laurel could have lost to Rachel. I I I. Applause, I, I Kara, at being the bigger person. Mm, like yeah. that's great. Fuck no. I was like, throw this. Fuck, fuck this. I was so mad. I was like, send they that still, bitch in. They still now. ended up losing, but not in... I, I wanted them to be last place, obviously, so they're forced... So they can't get out of it in the damn um, chamber yes. thing, you know? I wanted them to be the definite in, the definite last place. I, especially knowing what we know now, it's like, how much... God, team spirit can one gal muster. It's like, I get it, but not only what she did to you, but after intentionally getting Emily on your teams, after intentionally sabotaging the team, sabotage this bitch. Get rid of, cut out she, the cancer. She could have eased, like, you know, I mean, I'm, the more I think about it, Pamela, I think that Kara could have sabotaged the challenge. All she had to do was pop everyone's balloons, it's, right? I mean, it was easy. All the balloons were they were popping. popping they were popping accidentally all the time. Anyways, did you see up in the sky? The wind made one pop. Like no one was even I'm pushing it. Made it pop. I mean, yeah. So Again, Kara could have literally had guaranteed Laurel in an elimination, and what and and that would have made the episode a top episode of the season. Not this one. We're like, like, eh, they kind of just got through it. It would have been, oh my god. Good yeah, for awesome. you, Kara but maybe don't be the better person. Or maybe let, let the rest of the team go, all right, Car, you can be a bigger person. We're not. Like, fuck this shit. Fuck this bitch. We're getting rid of her. Yeah. I mean, I guess it is helpful to have her on. Sort of, though. I don't even think Laurel's all that. I feel like with the fact that her and Bananas were together is we, they do need Bananas. But he would have won. You're, you're, I'll say this. Maybe, Laurel, you're damn lucky that Bananas was your partner going into that because Josh really didn't want to put him in. And Jenny had such a strong, Jenny at the beginning, Jenny, they teed up at the freaking beginning. Jenny's like, the only person in this house that stands up for me or, or that I like is Bananas. I'm like, okay. So if Bananas, so, oh, great. So Bananas is a target. If he gets thrown down there and you win, Jenny, oh, here we go. So not only did Bananas have the Josh vote, but he had the Jenny vote. So thank you, Laurel, you're freaking welcome. Because if any other dude, if it was Derek or Ryan, do do Josh and Jenny give a crap? Do they even know who they are? Like they don't care about them. Derek and Brian hadn't been on the season in forever. Josh and Jenny are are, are, are rather new to the show. I don't even think they ever worked or even knew about them. I mean, they might know about it, but they didn't like be on, on on the same season as them. Maybe Laurel got lucky. It was doubly offensive because a I was mad that they didn't lose lose and have to go in, and I accidentally since we're a day after the airing. Mm -hmm. I saw the social media memes with the animation while Michelle was talking with bananas and Laura. one was the was court like, the, the court jester one Josh of jester. Josh. Yeah. And I thought, oh great. They win. That was just my immediate. I thought they okay. were that was what I thought was gonna happen. Yeah. And I was like, oh God, it's one thing for them 
but they showed him with such a like a weird Lewis. sad but it was a weird sad face so did you really think he won like they made him a, like a like a laughing stock in a I way no I, I i looked away as soon as right i, I know i, I hate spoilers. so even here's the other issue pam is we're on west coast time so if i'm on social media around five o'clock at night the challenge doesn't come out on wednesday nights till eight o'clock so if i'm i'm on randomly on social media at like eight six five six seven o'clock or whatever and I'm like looking at sports stuff, wherever I'm looking at, I'll come across challenge stuff. So I have to be careful on Wednesdays in general from five o'clock on until I watch the episode. I cannot go on social media because I saw the court jester picture and then I said, whoops, I'm done. But luckily it turned into a nothing burger or just uh, a, you know, making fun of Josh thing. So, yeah. Yeah. I, um, I got a phone to pick with Amazon because, you know, I bought the season usually at other, all the other seasons when it was on other channels or whatever now that it's mtv i don't know what the deal is because they're still they're connected and paramount and whatever and i feel like a i shouldn't have to pay but whatever i bought the season it comes out at like a good 24 hours after like it used to just be there the next morning it's you wake up. the reason that you have to pay for it though pamela is because it's still on cable technically and you don't ha if you don't have like i have live tv with hulu so MTV is included in the live TV. So I just get it there. But if I didn't have live TV with Hulu, then it's not, it's, it, it, they only want it to be on the flagship station. Well, and Paramount Plus, which is allegedly MTV is a Paramount which Plus. Which makes no sense. But I, yeah, I don't get that either. It should, well, it should go like the, it could go like the next day to Paramount Plus in theory. But remember, there used to be the MTV app. What happened to the MTV well, app? It, it exists, but you have to watch it because I did watch like episode one on that. I think you have to literally watch it live. Oh, like I really? can log on to But that doesn't make sense. And like why would anyone play for cable if they just want an MTV? I, I don't it I don't know. The whole thing is annoying. The like, whole thing like is weird in general me? because yeah. the, the TV medium is changing so much. Like I unreal. Unreal. Like yeah. when you buy this thing, you should get like I I it is so it is maybe if it airs at five o'clock um on the East Coast on Wednesday. Today's Thursday. I got it at like five o'clock today on Thursday, like a full 24 hours after. That took a while. Yeah. And I lot. bought it. Like when you, when you subscribe, like usually it would just come and you could get it earlier. I feel like when, before, when I would just watch the episodes, usually like they would appear on. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. So we're, that's what I'm just saying. That's why we're, we are, we're delayed, delayed today. Well, speaking about bones uh, to pick with somebody, let's talk about Derek's bone. Uh, and I don't mean that in any, any type of sexual way. I mean his leg. Uh, he made it sound like he broke his damn leg. And I and I and I thought this right away. I literally wrote it down later in the episode. I said, "Oh, so no one's no, we're not going to talk about what happened with Derek. He's just all of a sudden fine. The dude couldn't walk. Pamela, you saw it. I saw it. He had to jump on one leg. And then they're not even going to tell us." Like, oh, he overreacted. He's actually fine. It's a bone bruise, whatever it is. He's just perfectly fine. If anything was really wrong with him, they would have to send him home. Here's my conspiracy. Just for fun. Don't think it's real, but I, I like to have a conspiracy every episode. Um, There's four people left on Arrow 1. They're like, Derek, we can't lose you. Usually we'd make you go home, but we're going to let you stay. But then again, at the bar, he's like hopping around at the bar. So yeah. having like a ridiculous conversation with, to Brad about, you got to go in there and go all out and just go for it oh, you're in the elimination so i don't know what happened to derek i'm super confused they usually always tell us at least like because usually if, if they have to go home then we know okay it was something bad even if they don't tell us what really was wrong well he had to go home even when ct came back earlier it was like oh we got the wind knocked out of him whatever it was they don't even show a resolution <laughs> the second conversation where they said Derek does your leg feel better and he said yeah god it was a shin splint like, oh, all that dramatics over nothing it was a way to sell the episode because the episode probably wasn't that great and they're like we need something to sell them next week what are we gonna do oh Derek you 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 said out loud you broke your leg we didn't tell you to say that so now we're gonna make it the talk that was a talk remember in the I always watch the next on the challenge yeah. And that was the next on the challenge. And that's what I talked to you girls about, but I didn't, I didn't want to give it away. Or maybe we did tell you. But, we did. We were uh, like, just tell us at this point. Yeah, and yeah. then even when you told us, I was like, it's going to be nothing. And you were 100% right, <laughs> because it was yeah. nothing. It, it, I don't know why they even teased it as a something. It was like so much of a To get us to nothing. watch. Pamela, their viewership's down. Every, the viewership's been going like this. And then last week, it was at its lowest point of what? like, Last week was a good one with that well, fight. It does. It, it it was a good episode, but the viewership was the lowest out of all the numbers. If you just look at all the numbers, four hundred and something thousand, you know, 
people watched it. It was it's it's the lowest point but last week. I don't know what this that, week was. Is that measurement factoring in the way people watch TV today or no? Like, is that literally live? That's on why TV? I don't. I, who watches it, that? Pamela, Nobody. do they even know that? I don't. I'm not like part of like the. I don't know if they can track that I'm watching right. it or like if you're watching it through Hulu. Can they track that I bought the season? on? Mm. I don't think so. And I don't think the majority of this show's audience, I don't know. We'll have to, that's something that we need to research before st stating, but I feel like that doesn't mean even viewership numbers. I'm like, Oh, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Especially well, with an MTV show. I'm like, can they really, does anyone really watch things live? And yeah. if it accounts for our digital, whatever, then so we like that. Yeah. What did you What did you think of the daily challenge? By the way. Yeah. Again, that's hard. But I think I felt that like everything. The good, the most compelling thing would be the follow up. I think to the fight between Car and Laurel, and especially given what we all know and have seen from social media, which is now I think at the second component of this show. It's like you a companion piece. You can't just. You right. have to I mean, know what's going after, on what now, see, and what Laurel said and what Emily said and what Banana said. Knowing all that, I couldn't believe what a little see you next Tuesday, what a Cambridge University netball team Laurel was. I just can't believe she continued being such a bitch after, yeah. like, is she, talk about self-awareness. It's like, you're going to keep, and then at the Daily Challenge, like ordering, unless it was edited wrong and it was just Laurel giving orders, but they showed them in the same screen, sort of commanding Kara. It's like, you've got some nerve, Laurel. I don't know. I feel like she's... Well, I I, I like the I Daily the Challenge more than you. I thought it was interesting. It was, it, we haven't seen something like this before. Uh, maybe there's been balloons involved, but I don't really remember... Maybe back in the day they had to like hump each other to pop a balloon, maybe. <laughs> I'm a pop, yeah. <laughs> but I don't really remember them doing too much with these big, these these are big air balloons. Um but, but, and then to to add to your like Laurel being bossy, I thought Jordan was like ridiculous again. I'm like, come on, Jordan. Like, I like you, but like you're not making it's you're not making it easy to like you based on um your attitude. And like, here's the best yeah. part, Jordan, is like I know you don't want your team to lose. But you're not even up for you're not even a target now. Jordan is a target for next episode. So oh my god, I don't know what the hell he's gonna do during the daily if his team starts to fall behind in some way, shape, or form. But get your popcorn buckets ready. Throw some extra butter on that thing because it's gonna be a freaking interesting daily challenge next week with Jordan being a target. So we'll see. Jordan, it's funny because I didn't register his being a jerk particularly during the daily challenge because everybody was sort of yelling during the elimination, like yelling at that John too. A. Well, that I, too. Like look in his eyes. I'm like, Jordan needs to take a chill pill. Like some things and that's off the charts. And I, I feel like he is such a reasonable level headed person in, in cooler moments, like when, when cooler minds prevail, but some things his like anger levels at a hard dial. Yeah, and, and, and I look, thought, I literally thought that John A, cause then they went and took, pulled back a shot. Like they showed him screaming and then they showed her getting ready. And I was like, is she going to just fucking throw it at Jordan? Cause that's yeah. what I thought she was going to do. So, and here's the thing too, is it's not bad advice. Like he is, I don't want to, he is correct in his thing about how he's telling her to throw a ball, he but he just, his, his way about things is, 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 is just off. And See? when he was also complaining, this was a cheap editing trick. And I don't know if it happened when it did, but when he was yelling during the, the daily challenge at somebody for having their balloon pop, mm -hmm. they then, then had his pop when he tried to jump off the side of a thing. I don't know if it really happened that way, but it was a great little edit it there was. to be like, ha ha ha, Jordan. See, even you taking your advice, you still made one pop, but I don't think it happened at that exact moment, but it was a nice editing trick by the uh, producers. The, the aggression level is, is unacceptable. It's at this Too point much. where it's like, it's not acceptable. I understand that you're passionate, but my husband is a hothead and he'll yell about things that aren't like, I know that he's not really yelling that aggressively about them, but I'm like, you can't do, like, it's one of those things where Johnny it's like, might you can't, not know, right. Johnny might know, because it's, they, they, I don't know how well they know each other, but the point is, it's like, stop screaming at me. Like, yeah. you're literally screaming at me like a coach, which I guess, if you sign up for that, it's like, but you're not, and stop. Like, that doesn't work. And sometimes he knows how to communicate 
with a partner. That's why I'm like, something's up with him because he knew how to talk to. Yeah. And if I'm Jordan too, like in all honesty, like everyone's going to get mad at me on, on, on our, in our comment section, but like, this is the John A. I remember not being very good at stuff. Jordan, I, I wouldn't, if I were you, I wouldn't mind seeing her go home, especially if it's in the, in the end, you have to run a final with her and you're, I'm sorry, but like, I, I get she's pretty good at puzzles and her endurance is better now, but like overall, you don't need her on your team. Like you just, you don't need her. It's fine. Uh, Who else is on that team? Tori. Tori. Um, Naya. And who's the other? And oh, and Avery. 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 Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Look, <laughs> and people are going to say, well, I think John A's better than Avery. I think it's a, I think comparable. to me, I think they're comparable. I think, I think they're comparable. Johnny, I know John A won all stars two or whatever, three or whatever when she won. One. Not the same. It's not, not the same. John a. I think John A is pretty good, but again, I would put her in. Ori is better. And then the three other girls are, are, She's, are if fine. we have recent recency bias, recency bias, she's no, done Tori's better. a challenge champion. The other three girls are, are John A is an all-stars champion, and I love John A. I disagree that she's just like so whatever, but again, in our A, B, C, John A is not an A player, even no. if she's she's not Rachel, Cara, Tori. I mean, there's only a few the, right. rural. I mean, those right. are A-level players. I'm not saying she sucks. She's not a C-level player, but I she's think when a, it comes to doing doing something at like running and running in a and having endurance. That's not athletic to me. That's having good endurance and just being able to run in a straight line. When it comes to having to do something like throw a ball onto a spike, I get it's not an everyday thing, but there's ways to do it. And, and Brad too. This is a weird one for Brad. Again, is Brad athletic? I don't know if he, I don't know. Cause there, I, I saw it right away when I saw the spike and I saw the ball, I said, this is a basketball move. It's called a chest pass. Yeah, and course. I learned it when I was a kid when I played basketball. It's the best way to do it to have fully full control, as much control as you can of this ball. Doing an overhead shot, it's throwing at an angle downward and it's not going to stick to a peg. This is common sense kind of in a way too. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I know, I know it's, I know it doesn't seem true, but I'm not a basketball star, oh, even though what? you think that I am. And again, when you say comma, even I feel like that is a sort of intuitive move that if I had to make a ball go into something, like a, you know, that to even I would understand into it, right? you're going to use two hands. And I'm not saying Brad's a dummy or anything, but yeah, it did. He was like, you can't do it with one hand. It's like, no, Brad, you can't do it with one hand. You're like, and those balls were different. And those balls were different sizes, Pam. I don't know if you noticed, some were bigger than uh, others. They had them kind of like the big ones were here, the smaller ones were to the, the right of it closer to our screen where we were watching. I was like, oh, they're all different sizes. So like throwing the big ones first, that's the name of the game. They have a bigger circumference, a bigger area to, to be able to get stuck on a spike. Like, I don't know. And I, I'm i doing what Rachel and when you're ahead and sort of Corey, but I got scared for Corey for a minute. Cause I was like, Corey, use your strike, not your mind. I was like, is Corey going to try and psych him out? Like Corey was trying to shit talk Brad and psych him out. And I get that he was trying to just, Get rid play of some, all play the some defense is what he was trying to do. He was yeah. playing some defense, but I was like, oh no, Corey, just keep trying to keep, keep doing, keep using that you're good at this. Like, keep doing well, that. Yeah, and it's not like Brad was having a lot of success with it, um, anyways. Um, okay, let's move back to the daily um, and let's talk about uh, era, era three and era two, kind of back to back. Era three wins, technically, and then era two yeah. comes in after them, then era four, and then era one. However, Era, wait, no, hold on. Era two came in first, then era three, right? But then era three wins, though, because they had more balloons, even though it took a little bit longer to, to solve that riddle at the end. That's what happened. Okay. And then era four, and then a, again, era one loses, and Rachel and Brad are going directly into the arena. Look, I. On I'll talk the the final four that they have left. And by the way, every every episode I see Tina, she looks like more and more in shape to me. I'm like, she, she looks fantastic. Back since last week, and her body looks sick. Like it looks like like she's a like like. Listen, I went to Orange Theory for like two months. Okay, mm -hmm. I went home for the summer and I stopped going. But I'm gonna go back. But two months, like how long had Tina been training? I didn't look like that. She looks great. I, I like even tonight when I saw her, I said, Wow, she looks fantastic. Every, 
yeah, she looks better and better every episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. So yeah, so yeah, Rachel and it, it's her and Rachel, Tina and Rachel, and then all uh, Derek with apparently one leg left and and Darrell. So I mean, gosh, I mean those girls and boys, they're gonna be going back and forth and and being a target, like guaranteed. So they here's the thing too is all they have to do is win a daily. I mean, I I, I no, guess the other teams, they don't even have to win. That's they what just I'm saying. Keep they losing. Just everything. don't right. That's what I mean. Yeah, they just absorb don't lose. them, so they're gonna lose everything. I feel like it, they should just be absorbed into a diff different. If it's eras. something like today, then probably because you're you need the more people you have to bring. Now they purposely only let them go out in groups of three. Did you notice that? That was an equalizer. They went out in groups like they didn't all uh -oh. get to go at the same time. It was three. And then when those three got back, three more could go. So they equalized it a little bit for era sure. one. So thank goodness. Because it's really going over and over again. It's still not equalizing that much. Well, they had to wait till the other team. If they if the other people took a long time, maybe they could try to go faster. I don't know. I'm just saying they did tr they tr producers tried something to keep them a little bit more in the game, um, uh, as far as that goes. <laughs> Um, so now Laurel and Bananas, they are up for, they are up to go to the arena technically. So they are, you know, but Josh and Jenny win and they get to decide. They have a group meeting. Josh is all about, we're going to have a group meeting. We're going to decide this as a team. And then he decides to not go with the team. Um, it also was helpful that Jenny was super on his side, which kind of pissed me off too, because she was so close with Bananas. I'm like, damn it. They, Jenny and Josh can't even have that type of fight to have some type of dilemma here. They're both hundred percent on the same page because Josh is woe is me. And even banana said it. He's like, if Josh wants to keep save my ass more power to him, but he's like, in my head, I'm like, bananas is not going to save your ass. Josh, he does not care, dude. He got in your freaking head because of, um, the challenge USA season two or see, yeah, he got in your freaking head about Remind that, man. Me what happened then? Because I really don't remember what happened. It was, I remember it was, and I only half remember, but basically it was almost to the end of the season. And you had to go into like that individual booth and vote somebody in. No one could see your votes. And Josh didn't have to tell bananas in theory, but I think bananas basically could figure it out. But Josh voted bananas instead of somebody else. Um, to go in there. I don't even know if, if that even made bananas go down there, but bananas, I thought we were working together the whole time, Josh, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, come on, bananas would turn his back on Josh in a heartbeat. And Josh doesn't, okay. Josh can't figure this out. And you know, that'll piss that it pissed me off later. And I think people were figuring it out, but like bananas whole thing to um, like he, him making up lies about what he said to, uh, Michelle and Olivia heard it too. It's like, give me a freaking break bananas. You obviously said to, to Michelle, not to trust Devin, that Devin's doing this for his gameplay. It wasn't whatever BS thing that you made up with while you were working out. And Michelle tried to call you out. That didn't. Absolutely. Garbage. Total bullshit. And just so funny when caught, he's like, what? You think I just came up to Michelle out yeah. of nowhere and told her? And it's like, yes, yep. <laughs> that's precisely what happened. We saw it all on camera. Um, yeah. And somebody, I don't remember who, I think it was Tori, was like, I hope he pay would give you this same consideration, Josh. Like, it's good that you're so loyal to bananas. Yep. Um, Because that was ridiculous. And it was, Michelle did say, we're real friends outside of this when she was talking about, she, that's one of her favorite lines. But when she said her and bananas are real friends outside of this, and she did take it as him just looking out for her, that she wasn't getting played by a guy. And I'm like, nothing he does is motivated by looking out for you, Michelle. He's always yeah. looking out for him. Well, Michelle's that other, Michelle is also that person who wants to save everybody, just like Josh. I don't, like, you guys can't save everybody. And so but basically, she, yeah, go more on. ruthless and smart. Josh really thinks, <laughs> it like, yeah, no, Michelle wants to save everybody for three minutes until she doesn't, she'll fuck over and read. I mean, like, yeah. until she has to orchestrate a plan to save who she really wants to save and, Josh, and fuck everybody else. Josh, you're such a wuss too. Like, yeah, maybe bananas comes back. Okay. But you got rid of Laurel. Like, oh my God. And like the only way that bananas can, um, you know, really go after you now, he has to be a target and then he has to also win the, the daily challenge. And I also noticed tonight, you can't nominate a target twice. So even if bananas right. said, no, I, I want to go after Josh now. Nominate me. He can't literally do that. Um, because I noticed I'm like, oh my god, because I was so excited. I said, oh my god, 
Uh, who? Because who won tonight? Oh, I said Rachel. Right. Rachel. Rachel. Yes. And Rachel and Corey. I said Corey. Oh my God, Corey, throw Laurel back in. Do it. And he couldn't. He wasn't allowed to. And they made that clear. Like they said, oh, oh Laurel was. I've only allowed Aviv and uh, Kara. So they made That's it very clear. clear. They only made that rule because Maybe Rachel was... would go in every week if it was. Oh, well, no, well, that that's going to have to once they lose one of them, then they will. And then maybe they'll come up with something else. But yeah. well, the challenge, though, when someone's an asshole and they have to go in every time because their team hates them or something or not or a victim. I think that, that should, yeah, that's 100%. always great. That Making been, like, like twice is little stupid. things like that, Dra like little drama, things like that would have made it even better. Producers should have allowed it. Like, who cares? Who, you guys are like CT went home. Like, are you, you're not a free, clearly right. aren't afraid to lose big talent here. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe, you know, maybe CT's on the way out. He, he wasn't in the greatest of shape. Who cares? It's CT. You don't want to it go does. against CT. Let CT <laughs> stay in this game. You know, I, we we have, oh, great. Nehemiah is back. Like, what did Nehemiah <laughs> do in this episode? Nothing. Nehemiah, Casey. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Casey. Wait, what is Casey? At some point, I was like, "This is Casey's best moment." Oh, that was a that wasn't a bad line. narration, but producers probably I gave the line. Jenny. Yeah. She was like, "Jenny talks yeah. about her guinea pigs." Guinea pigs. Working that out. wasn't bad. That was pretty good. But that like, pretty good. And also, though, too, why hasn't Casey been given shit for not volunteering yet? In theory, next episode, okay? Mark my words here. It is her turn next time. All the girls on her freaking team have gone. If Casey doesn't volunteer next time, it'll be very... Because even tonight, um, who... Vol um, I can look it up here. Hold on. Uh, was it... It was Michelle. Michelle her volunteered. Board defense, I think Casey was the first person to volunteer. I might be wrong. I don't but remember. I think that she was. I think it was like Casey and... Well, someone will call someone me out for that. Like the very first. And that's but I might I, be wrong. I don't remember that, but I guess, yeah. The Kate oh, was Casey the now here's the thing too though. Was this before they found out what that even meant though? Like who wants to be the captains? I think they just chose captains that day and maybe sure team won. And so maybe they're considering that what it was, but that's different. Maybe not knowing what actually happens when you're a captain too. Just saying. Um, okay. So let's it, it, it technically it is Michelle's turn then. So Casey, it, she should be up then. If she volunteered first episode, she's up next week. Um, let's move this forward here. Um, what? Oh, I have to talk about this. So Jenny and uh, Josh want to go tell Corey that, hey, guess what? You guys are going to be going down in there. We don't even have to wait till though. We want to let you know now, which I guess is kind of nice. I guess they get to prep and they get to be more prepared like um, Rachel and uh, Brad are going to be more prepared. So what? You can't prepare for throwing but, purple balls at the stage. I guess, but this is, but I don't even want to talk about that point. I want to talk about what the hell Corey was wearing on the bed. And he was wearing like Iron Man pants like they were this it was a, a contraption for his legs maybe it's a massager no. maybe it's something to like regenerate his legs maybe it's no, bad I legs think I know. you know what it is i, don't I know actually what this is. know what it is so have you ever had any sort of surgery and i'm not sure if this is right I mean, yes but I, I have but I, not on my legs there's a thing that to like prevent clotting or something okay. will it will like smush it's like inflate deflate sure inflate sure, sure. deflate there's someone outside my window with like a gigantic clown wig on sorry it was a Sorry. clown wig. Like it's getting clown, close to Halloween, like a gigantic, I guess. Like rainbow pink. I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're like a singing clownogram or something. But I think that it sounds like what you're describing. That's what it is. Something that a sort of conflict like, that like. Did you know? Did you see it tonight or no? Where I, I you saw, I right? Did, okay. And I think that's what it is. Yeah. Someone it in the comments, tell me I'm not crazy, or that Pam and I aren't crazy. That you also saw this. Like it was like right. they were like square shaped. They were they went all the way down. And it like yeah. his feet went inside and it almost had like a wire, like a big cord, like a chunky cord on it too, a black cord yeah, of some kind. I think I'm right. Anyways, yeah. Now it was, I'm like, it was yeah, it's funny because I just my brain glanced over that. Like I did see it, but I didn't even think I about it. I wrote it down right away. I'm like, he's wearing like a half Iron Man suit, like the like the like the bottom of an Iron Man suit of some kind. Um, okay. Um I'm dying to find out. This is where we can go to the party club scene, but this is more of where bananas pulls Michelle aside and questions Devin's feelings for her. And apparently Olivia witnessed it and said, no, 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 Bananas, you did actually say what you said and not what you fake said. We kind of already talked about that. And then Devin calls out Bananas 
and just says two words. Oh, yeah. He says, thin ice. thin ice. And I loved it. I thought this was yeah. great. And I wanted to get more. I wanted, I wanted, uh, almost like Michelle to come in here more and say, I wanted them all to be in the same room because like, at least they never showed. And maybe there was, I know there was a deleted scene, which I watched today of oh. Devin and uh, Michelle arguing more. Tori was there kind of trying to help Devin out with it. Like, like you said, like, do you actually believe that he doesn't have to like, and then I even Tori said, no, like actually Tori said that tonight. That was shown. Tori yeah. Like bananas, do you actually believe it? And then what did you think he doesn't have feelings for her? What like, did banana say to that? He kind of kind of sneaked his way out of that too. He sneaked his way out of that. I forgot how fucking when it, when bananas lays low, it's easy to forget what a fucking snake he is. And it's interesting because I was starting to like bananas the last couple seasons, but I'm back to not liking him again. And I like that. I like that I don't like him again, I guess. But I, I, it's kind of fun. Um it would have been interesting to see if Wes was on this season, if I would have liked Bananas more, because they would have obviously been on the same era and they would have teamed up again, which I would have thought was fun. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely starting to hate Bananas again, but, which I like. Bananas, me too, because he's, so he's like, you know, I'm like saddled with Laurel, who everybody hates. So he's trying, he feels backed into a corner and he's trying to make sure he's not going in because he knows Laurel's not very popular right now. Not enough to damage her, unfortunately, which I just couldn't believe. You're right. But so he's kissing Josh's ass and then trying to upset. That's what I didn't even understand. Like, what was he really, his goal was to like break them up? Or what did he think he was going to accomplish by that? Exactly? Either that or production's like, hey, can we get some more drama bananas? You'll do it, right? You don't mind? I don't know. I mean, because what? how does it help? How does it help? In all honesty, how does it help bananas game? Because now he's not laying low. Now, I guess bananas like, well, oh, you know, here's the thing too is Devin made a good point because bananas was bitching. Like he's like, well, now people might come after me. And then, or he's like, you're, you're, you were coming after me from the get go, Devin. And Devin's like, everyone's coming after you at the get go bananas. And he said, eventually you're going to want to come after me. And Devin said, huh, eventually everyone's going to want to come after you. And that's the line of the whole night. Cause it's like, Hadar. what do you mean? I'm coming. Right. Yeah. Of course, we're not on the same team. What do you I, mean you're coming after me eventually? It wasn't even... Bananas nope. is acting like this is the the season after the backpack incident and everyone thinks he's not a great player or something like that. Right. Like, like uh, again, and the... the, the uh, yes, on, I'm getting, thing I'm that getting a the face. Great. You couldn't hear that FaceTime coming in, right? Okay, yes. Um. Again, Michelle's confessional that led to the good doodle is totally accurate when people look back at their game. And I think it was Michelle because it's in my authoritative voice, which isn't Tori in my head going, I hope you get the same consideration for bananas saying when they look back and they re replay this and wonder where did I screw up? Yeah. This is where, when you had the chance to get out bananas and Laurel and you decided not to, that's the stupid move, Josh. Yeah. But um, yes, it may, I thought, I was really hoping for what I thought would make this episode kick into gear and I was hoping for, because the other ones have delivered, was that this bananas drama happens so much that Devin's like, fuck him, fuck him. Like, let's put bananas in and try and convinces Josh to put, I thought when it came to the actual announcement, that that yep. was going to go somewhere better. Like, don't fuck with me in my relationship with someone that we know he's still with. It's and like, I thought, and I thought so, I thought so too, because they announced so blatantly before they even went out right. to the party that it was going to be Corey and John A. So I said, oh, we're going to get a cool twist where something's going to happen through the party scene and after the party scene where they're going to convince Josh right. to They'll put in the their mind. Josh and and that's what I thought so too, yeah. Episode, the reason why it wasn't so good was because it was disappointing. I thought we were going to get a I, a revenge on Laurel, and I thought we were going to get a, something with bananas, and we got none of those things. Yeah, that's why, and that's why I said too, this was like one of the the weaker episodes, still entertaining. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Still 100%. had some things going on with it, but yeah, a little more uh, on the weak side. Um, okay, the arena, the it's called To the Point. That's the name of the uh, elimination, Pam. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to talk about Brad and Corey. To me, because I was thinking about it when they, because they had to go against each other tonight. I said, they're almost to me kind of like the same player. Yes. I know they came on, Brad came on much earlier than, than Corey, but they both been semi successful, never really made like a huge, mar I know Corey's never won. He's got second and third place is what he said tonight. Brad, I believe won one time, but I believe it was a group thing. 
maybe I can look him up. I think he's a one-time champion. Um, could be wrong, but I think you know, I'm. Right. And it was. It was the. I think he won with his his, his soon to be wife, now ex wife. I think it was a. Oh, team was that a thing, team thing? And it was okay. a, a a small group, but I yes, because I have like the image of them like. Okay. Hey. Yeah, and then yeah, um, they're not together anymore. Yeah, so again, yeah. had some success on the show, but never. I would say like you know, uh, definitely B B players B plus, for sure. B plus. Yeah, I think Brad's a little. I think dare I say I don't want to. I think Brad's better at puzzles. I think Brad is sometimes surprised oh, me. Oh, for good sure. At... No, I'd say if Brad's a B plus, then Corey's a B. Okay. I I just yeah. I, I'm getting that same vibe from them though. Where neither of them have really taken that next step to be like okay. This they're is similar. you are the the guy this season they're or forever. Vibes. They're, they're good, but they're not great. Yeah, and and unfortunately, that's why I thought they're kind of equal now because Brad's been having such a rough go at it the last couple uh, seasons for sure. Um, he's kind of fallen out of that that yeah. that B plus yeah. status, maybe down to B. Well, you know how sometimes me, you, and Jenna like to argue like you could be in really good shape. Is age a factor? I think we've definitively learned via the eras that era one yes yes age and i'm like what is it she what is he getting bone spurs now? when derek fell it's like it ah, i like oh um God. i like that all the era one people are all no, now road rules all four of them uh premiered on the challenge for road rules originally and i like that now i watched um uh campus crawl with Darrell. Was was Rachel on that one, or was she on a different one? But I never watched Tina or Derek's Road Rules seasons, or maybe I saw glimpses of them. But it was so like I was a kid, like I was into yeah. the real world. But I, I like say, I didn't, I didn't like, even see them until. And it's funny too because back in the day, if you missed a Road Rules season or a Real World season, you might be able to randomly catch it. But like there was no guarantee that they'd replay the entire season at a certain time where you could you could check back in. There was no way to rewatch a season way back in the day like that oh right mm -hmm. you know like you could maybe randomly catch it on like an mtv2 or mtv randomly might reshow a season but you might catch like an episode here an episode there they might show the whole episode the whole season in one yeah, day but if marathon. you were busy that's what i remember like watching a marathon of like new york correct Real World when i was like young but, like if you were to go out young. like if you're like if your mom's like we're going to your grandmother's it's like you you couldn't like get out of a vhs and put it in the vcr and try you to tape it tebow maybe it. Um, tebow wasn't even around yet tebow was the first thing and we didn't even have tebow then no tebow wasn't around until i was in college and that was in 2000 and three on and i think it didn't air it came out to like 2004 maybe tivo was fine we were about tivo like isn't it funny i just remember kids today they don't understand we wanted to hear a song like, yeah. that you liked you had to like find it burn it like get find someone that owned the cd like hearing any song you wanted to hear that like you heard at your you know your friend's older sister right. played uh, that she like it was just like you had to buy you had to buy the cd <laughs> Yes, you had to buy the CD or borrow the and then CD. You could only listen to it like or on have a friend. gigantic stereo. We had mix. We did a lot of like mixtapes, but then we you had mix. They would they would burn. We had burning CDs when I was in high but school. That was a pain in the ass too. It was right. hard to burn CDs. Yeah, it wasn't like now. I, like, like I still get these are the slight thrills that I get as an old grown up. It is like being like, oh my God, I heard that song in a bar, and I can be like, what is this, and go listen to it at home. Yeah. Like I can just listen to whatever I want. Because we didn't grow up with that. So it I is mean, it's still I kind of miss how simple it was too, though, because when someone burned you a CD, you're like, that's a like a like, that's my friend that did that they for spent me. Spent hours or made you a tape, even a mixtape, like you, you know, know they're either like that's so it was so and it was like it was such a treat because like because I would like, like I would drive like, home and have I'd put it in my CD first. player in my car and you just listen to all these songs in random songs. It's fun. Like mm -hmm. my buddy, he would make like like punk rock mixtapes for me all the time. Like with and he would do like 20 songs on. He wouldn't do like, you know, he would he would max right. out that CD as far as he could. It was right, great. right. I mean, I want that now. I still have yeah. I still have all my CDs. It's in the I sh I wish I had them on me now I could show you. I have like a, a giant I never listen to them anymore. But like I have mixed book? CDs. I have my mixtape CDs in there like this. Oh my god, CD. I have some and they're just so great. And then this <clears throat> really and truly happened to me probably 10 years ago. A friend of mine made me a CD. Maybe it was more than 10 years ago. But I don't think so. I think it was like 
go with a solid 10 years ago. Could have been even more, but he made me a CD. Yeah. Um, and it lived in my car for 10 years. And then at some point it moved to like the trunk of my car. Long story short is I was in Idlewild with some friends this past Christmas and at a the friend's cabin. And we like had a CD player there, like a Bose. And I was like, I am so excited because nobody brought, you know, CDs. I was like, we, I'm going to like yeah. bring this CD out of my car that I've never listened no one... to in 10 years. I can't wait. And I was so excited. And my friend Tom, who made the CD, I was, I was like, I, the CD you made me, I'm going to listen to it. I can't fucking wait. Because I literally didn't have a CD player in the round before then. Yeah. And I bring it and I have a photo of this, which I will, which I will post on something. So it's the CD and there's just a big chip out of the CD on the bottom. Oh. Like in the 10 years that it lived in my car and I moved twice, it, like the CD over. got chipped and I was like, oh. But like, <laughs> uh, and like the other reason why it was so special and I will we'll leave it at this here is people would, well, you could write one, this first song, a uh, permanent marker. They'd write out all the songs on the CD for it said like Pam, so, happy birthday, like whatever it was. Tom. Yeah, it was like good. had, and I was like, this is gonna be the best listen to reveal ever because he's also a guy that's like good with me, like always knows the coolest new music. Yeah, I so have. I like, see, that's the thing. I should go. I'm not gonna go get it because the dog's here and he'll she'll start barking. But I have those. I have those. I know I have them in that case somewhere. And my buddy, he would write out the the songs from. Anyways, yeah, so I, 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 I'm gonna look other, at it after this, after we take. Next this, time we this. see each other, please bring. Mm -hmm. A CD. I'm like, does it do any computers? I have, I have, I have them all in the spare room, but I just don't have them in this room. Unfortunately, now oh I God. used to tape in the spare room, but I moved it back in here. My dad and I are going to redo the floor in that room next. My my parents are coming to town next weekend, and we're going to redo the floor in there. Coming in to October 11th ish. My 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 parents the week before you. So there you go. Oh, nice. And uh, we'll talk floors after this because um, we're going to be redoing some floors in our house too. So I'm uh. You got to buy. Yeah, you just buy the. Are you going to do it? Like you guys are actually doing it? Oh yeah. My dad and I have done all the floors. We're Jewish. Town. We're not very handy. We're not, we're not super handy. My um, dad's really handy and I'm <laughs> learning a lot, but I'm really good at lifting things because I'm so strong and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty helpful, but no, him and I will be putting the floors. You just, you kind of like connect them into place. It's the cutting can be kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. But did yeah. you tear up carpet or did you have? There's already wood floor in there. I've teared up. I've, tw I've torn up half of it so far. I'm going to tear up the rest before they come next Friday. They're going to be here exactly by a week brief, from time. By brief looking into this, and Luke pretends to be handy, but he's not. And, like, we don't have tools, so it's like, mm. um, In my brief looking into it, it seems relatively inexpensive to, like, get floor like a smaller room mm. have flooring done so i think i'm probably going to but you i was going to say who are you like do you have an in on a good floor person but uh well you, you're your floor i mean person. even if i did you don't live close so you'd have to come and get the floor well, it was like empire floor like they're doing oh. literally it was like do one room and get the next for 50 dollars. i'm like yeah. that's great but luke yeah. was like that just means like that doesn't mean anything really. That just means the like service fee will be fifty dollars. Not right. That's the thing too. It's like you're gonna spend with either spending extra on the floor, or you're gonna get some type of deal maybe with the installment, or they're gonna charge you more for that. Either way, you're gonna pay. Would like it to be done properly. So like, yeah. unfortunately, I think that's you just that's, have it. That's you the route we're it. gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, um, all right. Okay. So, do you have any thoughts beside? We talked a little bit about the uh the arena obviously brad versus Corey. uh that was to me that was going to be the close match the rachel versus john a i'm sorry i know people like john a i was like rachel's gonna mop the floor with her and i feel like she did um because just overall once you get ahead in that game play some defense on john a you're you're you've got six to eight inches on the girl and just stand there and block all of her shot i mean she, it, there, it's a time and then all of a sudden as long as the balls are out of bounds that seemed to have to be the balls are out of play you can't take them back in play Smart move by the producers. There was an end to the game, which I liked as well. Um, I did too. I thought it was, I, I liked the elimination. Yeah. I, I did. And I liked Rachel's. I do like John A. And with these kinds of things, I get scared because sometimes who knows if John A is really good at chess. She was barely strong enough. She was barely strong enough to get it to that other side. Like, I feel like it would be hard to do. I mean, I wouldn't be good at it. But um, 
Rachel, I liked her intro too. It was like, was I a three a three sport athlete in high school? In high school, yes. Like, do I play sports every day with my kids? Yes. Like, am I? I like that she was like, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. This this took this, this took this took a little more athleticism and also, yeah, to kind of it was you had to had to have a strategy for it as well. Starting with the biggest ball is the best idea. Don't start. Why are you starting with a small one? The circumference is not as big. You need a big area to hit the spikes. So that's what you know. I'm, that wasn't really talked about, but I'm sure it's easier to. I don't know. Anyway, I'm I'm okay with the way it 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 panned out. Um, yeah, I'm okay with the winners for sure. Yeah, it was fine. I I didn't know who would win, Corey or Brad. It, you you know, but I I would have felt bad if Rachel didn't win. Rachel who, yeah I, I just think Rachel first of all it's arrow one they they need the players to <laughs> just in general but I also want to see Rachel go far in this because she kind of let's be honest the last season she was on was it all stars four um yeah home on that jet jack got screwed, she got screwed out of that elimination I mean they both would whoever lost that was going to get screwed out of elimination so that yeah. was a shitty shitty elimination for two great players yes, to, to have be to a part of right Yep. Agreed. All right. Did you do your mailbag edition? Did you do the mailbag? No. Okay, I have a great one, so I'll do my mailbag. Um, okay, so my mailbag is this because, you know, this is, uh, it's from ECHRI1384. So I don't know how to say that name. I don't know if that's a, well, if someone, they'll, they'll tell us hopefully this week, but it's ECHRI1384. Huh? Yeah. He <laughs> or know. she, he or she wrote, Dan is right. I'm spending my commute this morning watching you all. Don't underestimate how many people watch you guys, Jenna. This is one of my yeah. favorite challenge po challenge uh, podcast channels. See? And that's what I was yes. saying. Is like there are there is so much to watch on TV, but also what's taking people away from watching TV now is I'm telling you, I love listening to podcasts. Um, and that's taking me away from we only there's only so much time in the day. And I and I'm and there you go. So this one person, maybe it's only one. But one person listened to us on their community. I thought that was really nice. So yeah. Oh, that is really nice. Yeah, I've had a bit a very trying week. So I haven't um done my mailbag, but I love all of you guys for listening and really appreciate it. So we I do as well, and I know Jenna does well. And I it's you know, it's yeah, Jenna, that must be the reason she's not here today. But oh, no, she was Jenna, so she, was she like, didn't want to okay. have me call her out on this. No, uh, Jenna mm -hmm. is just super busy with. Uh, what she had like a was it a football game today? What was yeah, she... yeah, Rockers game or something. I don't know. Yeah, she's super she busy, so she couldn't make it. But she'll be back next week, I'm sure of that. Um, do you have any final thoughts on this uh, episode here, Pamela? I'm looking over my notes. I I really been feel like better, I guys. Should have been better, MTV. Get your shit together with your Amazon airing times. <laughs> Get it in a little more timely of a fashion. I don't mind waiting until the next day, but like a oh. reasonable time the next day, not at like the evening. The next, I shouldn't be 24 hours later. I'm paying for right yeah. Prime, and I bought the season. Come on. I got Second, I got one more final... thing to say. I got one more thing to say too. We, the targets for next week. We got. So Corey and Rachel, Wait. so Corey and Rachel get to choose. Corey went Tina, Aviv, Naya, Michelle. Okay. Rachel, Darrell, Nehemiah, Jordan, and Kylan. And right, which was pretty easy because almost all of those people volunteered. Yeah, that's again, that's why I want now it's not they're missing out on there could be a lot more drama now with the, the diminishing numbers people are either volunteering or they got no choice tina had no choice tonight you know what i mean like things like that uh darrell had no choice tonight right like oh wait no that's what tina's just gonna be like jenny's body when we see her i feel like each week she's morphing into like the more muscular she's yeah. just gonna be like and that's not true it could have been darrell or derek tonight so they could have gone either way with that but darrell uh, said it's my turn or whatever maybe yeah I don't know. And I just think like if, if I'm these people here, I'm going after Jordan and Naya for sure. For sure. You gotta get Jordan. Unless out. they win. You got you gotta get Jordan out. Yeah. This is the I mean, but then again, they didn't try to get bananas out. So it's gonna be interesting if Jordan yeah. doesn't win. I do feel like he's gonna have to really pull something out of his ass to stay out of this elimination next week. Well, if they're smart, but then again, you're right. They have so many connections yeah, they that might keep not doing even matter. Boneheaded thing. Three and four working together. And everyone's working with bananas, so who knows? If if, if Darrell and Tina win, right? You're telling me they're not going to throw Jordan in there. He don't give. Of he doesn't they care. Are, but they're not. They're not going to win. Unfortunately, <laughs> I hate it's going to take. You don't know. 
Well, didn't we see, because I had, isn't it a Heights challenge next week, which is like oh, Darrell's and it's, nightmare? Oh, you're right. You did see the next on. It's I right. Did. That is, Darrell's done. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. So, no, I don't know. Right into elimination, Darrell. Yeah. Way to not be able to jump off that building. Not that I'd yeah. want to jump off it either, but if it's for a show, I'm doing it. Whatever. Yeah. Is what it is. All right. Well, all right. Uh, Pamela, we'll see you next week. Jenna will be back next week. Thank you all yeah. for joining us Thank for episode you guys. six. My real friends era. Tell us what the hell that meant. I'm not even. My real friends. Oh, you know. Oh, I've just got it. It's Josh. It's probably about Josh. He 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 wants to be friends with. He needs to be friends. Or it's about Jenny. Who's who's my real friend? Bananas is my real friend. Or it's about. Yeah. It's it's really it's anyway. It's about it's, bananas it's, it's... convincing everyone he's their real friend. Michelle. Bananas Josh. telling Michelle. Right. He does have some sort of staying power. Is Devin? Is Devin real friends with Michelle now? <gasps> like these are all. Oh, we figured it out. There you go. Yep. Loosely. Um, who's who? <laughs> Loosely. Okay. All right. See y'all next All week. All right. See you guys next week. Thank Bye. you. Bye.